Now we have a color. Maybe this is ultimate for this color. <clears throat> Hello? What's up, Z-Big? Hey, uh, Ultimate Fart, how are you? Oh, why is the Ultimate Daddy? Come on, man. Okay, so you are a daddy, but you have no children, do you? Yeah, I okay. got children, you. Like your I prophet, you your, your prophet you is a daddy, right? but he have no children, is that true? No, I got children. Yes, he have no children. Do you have any children? Yes. Where? One in a, uh, doing his uh, senior college in Paris at the most. Where we can North find University. where we can find this information. Sorbonne. Where we can find this information. Why why would you need my my my, my daughter's information? No no no. I'm not uh, talking about your daughter. I'm talking about Muhammad. He have a children's. Where we can find this information? Oh, talking about me. I'm not about talking about Muhammad, you. I'm, I'm talking about Muhammad. Who are you? You are no one. I'm talking about Muhammad. You said Muhammad have a children. How Muhammad have a children? Where do you get this information? I thought he was talking about me if I had children. You call yourself daddy. I don't know. Anyway, do Muhammad have children? Who cares? I care. I'm asking you. You are the scholar. I want to learn from you. Do Muhammad have children? Muhammad is not here for children. Muhammad is here to bring a message. So if he have, if he is not here for children, so why it's important for Muhammad to have many women? If he is not, this is not his business. Because man is supposed to be having a wife, right? But he is. This is not his business. A second ago, you told me this is not his business. He is to bring a message. So why he want to bring more women? Why one wife is fine? Why he want to have all those women? So he cannot have a children. He don't have a children. And yet he want to have more women. Why? You don't marry to have children. You marry for what then? Or you, or, or you think marriage is for children? No, I do not know. Yeah, for me, if I want to marry, I want to have a children. Yeah. I guess. I guess if a full, I guess if two fifty years old uh, people married, so you are, are you expecting to do? Well, I'm asking you. Kids? Doesn't matter if Muhammad is fifty years old and get married, he cannot have kids. I heard when your daddy married your mom, they was both 50 some. No, I never said that. This is your fabrication. <laughs> That's what he said. No, you are, said you, are, you are a fabricator. You are a fabricator right? like your prophet. And don't talk about my parents, otherwise I will insult your parents. Be careful. You're the one that talked about them. I did, I did not talk, talk about, about them. them. No, I did not. I did not. You are the one who said that there is a prophet in the Bible. He married a child. She is three years old. And this is a lie. Nowhere it says that. And I say to you, so if my dad, he seen my mom when she was three years old, and then he didn't marry her long after that, that means he married her when she is three years old? If this is the first time he saw her, she was three years old? That's what I say. So and now you are fabricating story. Now don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Did your prophet have a children or not? Did your prophet have a children or not? It's historically, he might have. So what? What historically? So you do not know anything about your prophet now? I said history. He I'm not asking you history. Question. This is not the question. This is but not the question. This is not the question. What? Do, so what do you know about your prophet? What, what do you know about your prophet? Okay, well, hold on. What is the name of your? What is the name of your prophet? Forget about him having kids. Are you losing it again? Just calm down, bro. Where, what is? You, because you don't want to answer. You don't want to answer. You calm down. You calm down. You listen. I'm letting you speak. What is the name of your prophet? Muhammad. Okay, that's it. That's it. This is the only name you know about your prophet. What is his last name? I, I don't have to have last name. So how do you know he exists? Where, where he was located? Which where? Where? What? Which year? Which? Uh, which his family? Where? Just like just like every prophet, just like Moses is just Moses, just like the Abraham is. No, we Abraham, know we know the like, father of Moses. Like, we know we know the father like, of Moses. We know the name of the father like, of Abraham. We know the father of everybody. What? You tell me, I'm asking you, what is the name of the father of your prophet, where he was born, what his name, full name, and what is his family? Where, where, what, do you, what do you know about it? That's mean you are saying to me, I know nothing about Muhammad. You know just, that's only his name is Muhammad. What, what, what I know about him is what Allah says about him. Allah said... Okay, uh, so you know nothing that, except what Allah he said about him. Okay, know, that's wonderful. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know he was an orphan. Okay, no problem. Your Allah, so, your Allah, he said that the penis of Muhammad don't function. Why Allah, Allah speaking said, about that? 
man. Why? I said, I know he was an orphan. Where it says, okay, hold on, hold on. Um, don't change the topic. Why Allah speaking about that Muhammad is a cut off? Somebody made fun of him, but yet he didn't want to tell us what is the story? What somebody is saying to him is cut off. What does that mean? He said what? He's cut off. They are making fun of his penis. Don't function. He don't have a penis. What does that mean? Why, why do we need to know about this? That, 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 that we can see in your Bible, not in the Quran. No, here we go. This is in the Quran, chapter 8, verse number 3. Nowhere in the, Quran, in the Bible it says such a thing. Yes, open Ezekiel 23, 20. Yeah, open it and read it. And now answer about this. We will open Ezekiel 20, 23, 20, and we will laugh at you. Okay, go ahead. Now go ahead, read the verse. Read, it's in front of you in the, in the screen. Why the Quran is speaking about your prophet being accused that he's cut off. He has no penis. Tell me what chapter. I just told you, chapter 108, verse number 3. 108, 3? Mm -hmm. I will read it. Quran don't talk about that. The, the Bible does. You see, don't repeat yourself. You're an idiot as usual. And that's why always I hang up on you because you are a kid. I gave you the verse. Don't tell me it doesn't say that. Read it. That's all you do. You just... No, I hang up on you because you are a kid. You never answer anything. And you play games. You never answer. Okay, I ask you, who is Muhammad? You don't know. You just say to me, his name is Muhammad. The Quran says his name is Ahmad. So his name is Muhammad or, Muh or Ahmad? <laughs> are you there? Hello? Abdul, are you there? Hello? Yeah. I asked you the I asked you the name of your prophet. You said his name is Muhammad. The Quran say his name is Ahmed. So you obviously you Muslims are confused chapter about the name. Verse three, right? No, okay. Now chapter one o eight verse. verse uh, you can read the whole chapter. It's three verses anyway. Yes, we have blessed you hmm. with many a bounty. Hmm. Therefore, you shall pray your Lord. Hmm. And give charity. What bounty? Where, where it says the word bounty? Where it says the where it says the where it says the word bounty? Charity, I said. Where it says the charity? Where it says the charity? You know what charity means? No, no. Where it says the word of charity? You see, you, you, you just you are just a kid. Don't make me get upset. Don't make me because I had to repeat the question one million times because you are so slow. Listen, I'm asking you. Where is the word charity in the first verse? Show it to me. I don't say first verse, second verse. Second verse. Where in second verse it says the charity? Fasalli rabbika, fasalli rabbika, one har. You stupid idiot. Salli to rabbika, it's mean to pray to your Lord. Yes, one har. Okay, and, and, and the slaughter. Where is the charity? I said one har, yes. That's, that's no, you said the charity. In har, in har, you idiot. In har, in har mean put a knife in the neck of someone and kill him. This is what in har. Where is no. the word charity? You said the word no. charity. I'm asking you, where is the word charity? Like that, that's, no, that's Abdul, Abdul. Like don't, don't waste my time. You are an idiot. Which translation you are reading? Read, read two, <laughs> two, one ninety-six. That's about the Abdul, 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 Abdul. Okay, Abdul, Abdul. Okay, Abdul. Okay, 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 okay. It says here that Allah He gave him the fount and slaughter and kill and praise Allah. Okay, and the one who said to you, you are cut off. He is the one is cut off. Does it say that? Prince. Don't uh, play games. No. Does it say no. that? Hey, well, come on, man. I allow you to. to I allow you to call me so we can laugh. Why come on. Why you don't want to answer? Does it say? Does it say that they accuse him that his penis is cut off? Yes or no? No. Okay. Now, read, put, okay. Read for me verse number three. Read for me verse. Read for me verse number. Read for me. Read for me. Read for. Read for me verse number three. Ezekiel, I read everything you No, you did not. You did not. No, you did not. No, no, you No, you did not. No, you did not. Read verse number three. What does that mean? Is that Arabic supposedly? Are you now speaking Arabic supposedly to me? I mean, you are the most stupid donkey ever. When you say something, they, they have uh, letters written in to, to sound like Arabic. Okay, okay. What the word after mean? You say I heard you saying the word after. What the word after mean? The word after. Yeah. What the word after mean? 
Those who oppose you eh? will be losing. What, lose what? Whatever they, if, if, if they come to oppose you, Abdul, be, it says, like, like, what oppose you? What oppose you? Okay, oppose okay, you Abdul, now. Abdul, let us do this. Abdul, let us do this. So everybody will laugh at you. And in a second, you will see how this ultimate fault, you will say, I don't accept this. Do you accept any Islamic interpretation for the verse? I, uh, you know my position about I get lost. No, uh, no, uh, no. This is why I say, don't call me, don't call me again, son of Muta, don't call me again. You see, this is why I say, don't call me again, you are a kid. You know my position about interpretation. So you will give me your own interpretation. That's you have in your religion. Nobody have an interpretation except ultimate fault. He have his own interpretation. All Muslim scholars agree that people, they were making fun of him that he cannot have kids. And make fun of his penis specifically. And even Muhammad in the Quran, he seek refuge by Allah from when his penis stand up. Obviously, Aisha, the Hadith says, Aisha, she came to him and she started playing with his hair. She want to have sex. Muhammad, he said, I seek refuge by Allah when the penis stand up. And this is the interpretation. But this guy, he will not accept any interpretation because it's embarrassing. So why I will talk to you? You are just a kid. And when you speak about Ezekiel number 22, 23, you idiot, everybody can go and laugh, and laugh at you. You are a filthy, you are a coward, you are a son of Muta, you have no dignity. This is speak about two cities, it's not about even a human being. Two cities who they are following their lost, worshipping their pagan idols. You are filthy and you are stupid. You see, when we Christian, we have a verse in the Bible, we stand behind the interpretation. Why? Because we have nothing to fear. We are truthful. Muslims will not accept the interpretation of their own Quran, for they are ashamed of it. Anyone right now can go to Ezekiel number 23. No, it's okay. I mean, you can go. We can post it right now. Ezekiel number three, talking about the two cities, two nations, those tribes, describing as females, Ahola and Ahulia, and those they have uh, following the pagan. This is not about a woman. Every single Jew, forget about the Christians. Do you accept the Jews? This is the book of the Jews, before it was our book. Every single Jew, he will say to you, this is what it meant. Shame on you. So who is Muhammad? He, or what he knew that Muhammad, his name is Muhammad. Do you know why he did not dare to say his father's name, etc.? Because he, he said many times, he don't accept the hadith. So we know nothing about Islam. But all the Quran is a hadith. And what made those people funny from, from Africa, who don't speak Arabic, they try to sound like they knew Arabic. But the fact, if you go here in the interpretation, they have an option you choose, which will make will make the Arabic appear in Latin letters. Let me see which one. I forgot which option. Um, maybe this one. Yeah, see? This is how he read. He is not reading Arabic. He do not know Arabic. None of them knows Arabic. This is a written in the Latin letters. Sound like when you read it as if you know Arabic. Inna atayna kal kawthar. Fasalli rabbika wanhar. This is what he was reading. He don't know Arabic. They are coward. They are fraud. So when they, you know, you call, they call you and they start speaking and they try to claim that they know Arabic, they don't. They don't. They don't even know a single word in Arabic. You know my position from the interpretation. Okay, well, so, so you have what what religion you follow? You are not a Sunni. You are not a Shia because Sunni and Shia both, they have interpretation. Druze have interpretation. All Islamic sect they accept interpretation. 
When you say I don't accept any of those interpretations, that's when you have a new religion. Get lost. I'm debating Muslims. I'm not debating a guy who has his own fabricated religion. There's nothing to debate about. 